Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is on about the different parts of the dams. In this video, I will explain the different parts and the dam as I uh, draw the diagram here on the right side of the board and I will explain one by one these parts of the dams. I will give on the description of the video related to the types of dam. You can watch this video. I will give on the link in the description. So now coming to start the parts of the dam one by one. The first part of the dam is the crest of the dam. Is the crest. The crest of the dam is the top surface of the dam which is provide uh, which is provided to provide a walkway or roadway for the travelers to move on the top of the dam. So crest is uh, to providing the providing roadway or walkway over the dam. So one can travel over the dam. So this way we call is the crest over the dam. Now coming to the second part of the dam, parapet wall. Parapet wall are the low protection wall provided on both sides of the crest for the protection of the crest. So they are low protective wall, the parapet wall. Parapet wall. They provide the low protection wall, protection wall, protection wall provided on both sides of the wall, on both sides of the crest. Now coming to the third part of the dam, the third part of the dam is the spillway. Spillway is the very important part of the uh, dam and I will explain it like it is the top it is provided near the top surface of the dam always spill is always the mm, provided near the top of the dam and it's for the uh, passage of the excess or surplus water from the reservoir for example this is the reservoir on the upstream face of the dam this this side of the dam we call is the upstream face of the dam while this side of the dam we call is the downstream face of the dam. On the upstream of the side of the dam there is reservoir or river or stream provided on the upstream face of the dam while in the downstream of the dam there is uh, the water will flow to this side. So the spill will be provided near the top surface of the dam for the purpose of uh, to flow the excessive water from the reservoir to this way. This is the spillway. So I can define the spillway as a I can define the spillway that this is provided for the purpose of for the purpose of excessive excessive or surplus water that is not in need surplus surplus water from the reservoir from the reservoir So this removes the surplus or extra, extra water uh, from the reservoir to the spillway and it goes into the downstream of the dam. So we call it the spillway. The fourth part of the dam is the free board. Free board. Free board. This is the free board. Free board can be defined as the distance between the maximum water level, the maximum water level of the dam and the normal water level of the dam, this distance between the maximum and normal water level we call is the free board. So the distance between the maximum water level, maximum water level and the normal water level. This distance we call is the free board. The fifth part of the dam is the gallery. Gallery is the small tunnel like way, small tunnel like way, tunnel like passage provided inside the dam for the different purposes. It may be provided uh, in the longitudinal direction or the, in the transverse direction, provided for storage of the equipment used to determine the performance of the building, uh, or the small spaces room provided for the, uh, uh, the dam people to uh, live and specify the dam specification inside this 
room. So this is a small tunnel passageway provided inside the dam. There's a passage tunnel, passage tunnel provided inside the dam. They have different uh, purposes, this gallery. The sixth part of the dam is the sluice, is the sluice way. The sluice way. The sluice way is provided near the base of the dam and they are provided to clear the silt uh, accumulation in the reservoir. If some silt is uh, accumulated here in the base of the dam, so it goes through this way, through the sluice way of the dam. So it's provided near the base of the dam for the purpose uh, to uh, to clear the to clear the silt accumulation accumulation in the reservoir. If there is some silt accumulated in this upstream face of the dam, so it moves through the sluice way. Coming to the seventh part of the dam, it is the heel of the dam. Heel of the dam is defined as the portion of the dam and uh, the portion of the dam in the upstream face. This is the upstream face of the dam and this is the downstream face of the dam. So the portion of the uh, dam uh, and the and connected with the ground and the upstream side, we call it the hill. This is the ground level. So the portion of the dam in contact with the ground at the up, at upstream side we call it the hill, while the portion of the dam in contact with the ground at the downstream, uh, at the downstream face of the dam we call it the toe. So it is provided as uh, the portion of the dam, portion of the dam, in contact with the ground in contact with the ground at the upstream side at the upstream side of the dam upstream side of the dam we call it the heel of the dam while the toe is similar to the heel but it is provided at the downstream but it is provided at the downstream face of the dam so these were the uh, some different parts of the dam, and I will exp and I will uh, explain and uh, upload more videos related to the reservoir and the difference between canal and the other parts uh, and the other main uh, topics related to the hydraulic engineering. So don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily C1 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.